Good morning, everyone. This is Vicki and Victoria from Hope Wells Children's Church Moment. So glad to be with you today. We miss y'all so very, very much. All of our children, we miss you. So I hope you are enjoying these videos. I hope you're learning all the songs so that when we do be able to get back together, um, that we'll be able to do the songs together. I don't know if y'all can see my little light here, but I have a little light here. And you know what this represents? When we light a light, it just represents that God, we know that you're present. We know that you're present because we know that God is always present, right? He's omnipresent. He's always with you. He says he'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He lives within you if you've asked Jesus Christ in your life. But this just kind of reminds us where it's a holy time. And you know what? Whenever we come together, it is a holy time, whether it's virtually online or whether it's together in a church, okay? So let's start off with our bubbling song. Are you ready, Victoria? Get your arms ready. Stand up. It's bubbling, it's bubbling, it's bubbling in my soul. We're singing and laughing since Jesus made me whole. Folks don't understand it. How can I keep it quiet? It's bubbling, 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 bubbling day and night. Yay! Good job. I hope you guys are so enjoying all the songs. Uh, we love our classroom and it's so decorated and yet nobody can be in it, but that's okay. Y'all are being able to enjoy it just a little bit, okay? Okay, guys, let's go to the Lord in prayer and say, Our Father. Y'all ready? Sing, say it with us, okay? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Good job, guys. Do y'all remember? I hope y'all watched last week's. We're talking about Jesus when he was a boy. Isn't that exciting? You guys are little boys and girls, and some of you guys maybe have baby brothers that are a baby. Jesus was a baby, born of a virgin. And uh, Victoria, can you remember? You guys see if you can do it. What was his mom's name, Jesus? Mary. Mary, yes. Mary was um, Jesus's biological mother. That means she birthed him. But Joseph was his stepfather because God the Father was the father of Jesus. And that is so unreal, right? We can't even comprehend that. But just know that the Bible is true. Now, I'm gonna ask just a couple questions and we'll see if Victoria remembers them, okay? But if not, I bet you guys do. Okay, are we ready? Let me see here. Let's see. Who made God? No, God always was. Yep, nobody made God, he always was. And was he ever born? Was God ever born? Not Jesus. Was God ever born? No. Jesus, the man, was born. But remember, he was all man, but he was all God. I know you might not be able to really understand that yet, but you just say, Jesus, you just keep revealing yourself to me, okay? And another one is, has he ever had a beginning? No. No, because he always was. Will God ever die? No. No. Now we know Jesus died on the cross, the man. But when Jesus died on the cross, the God in Jesus was resurrected. Isn't that powerful? He was resurrected. And that's why we know that we know that we know that we can be born again because Jesus conquered death. And remember, there's three persons. There's three part of the Godheads. It's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen? So three persons, one God. God the Father, God the Son that died on the cross for our sins, and then the Holy Spirit, which Jesus said, if you'll remember, he told the disciples to go back and tarry, and the Holy Spirit would come upon them. And now when we receive Christ, we receive the Holy Spirit. But listen, we can pray and the Holy Spirit can come upon you also. The Holy Spirit is everywhere. Wow. So today I just want to talk about a little bit. Do you know that Jesus, when he was a little boy, do you know that every Sunday, Victoria, 
they he, they would take him to church. They would take him to the synagogue, which was their church. That's what they called it. Called it the synagogue or the temple, and they would go to church every every Sunday. So he played with other little boys and girls. But do you know, he never lied. I know it's hard to believe, right? He never lied. He never cheated. He never hurt anyone. He was always thinking about other people. Jesus never sinned. So one thing that we're learning about Jesus is Jesus, did he ever sin? No, he never sinned. Jesus never sinned. That's how come he could die for our sins because he was pure. He was holy. That's why we need to stand in awe of God and we need to praise him because he's holy. Amen. And you know what? Um, once a year, they would go to Jerusalem, wherever they lived, whether it was Nazareth, I mean, wherever they were, lived around Jerusalem, they would all go travel to Jerusalem. Everyone would travel to Jerusalem once a year, and they would celebrate what was called the Passover. Now, I don't know if any of my children's church kids remember, but remember, we had a, a Seder meal. Do y'all remember? We had a Seder meal, and we sat on the floor, and we had special food because the Passover was where they celebrated in the Old Testament where um, uh, when God did the plagues on Egypt because he wanted them to let his people go when Moses was ruling his people. And the last one was a death angel. That's kind of scary, death angel. And so for them, the death angel was going to come and all the firstborn of the land were going to die. And what happened is all the children of Israel, God told them certain things to do. And they prepared the meal. They did everything God told them to do. And they put the blood of the lamb on the doorpost representing the blood of Jesus. Because that blood is what cleanses us and washes us. And they put it over their doorpost. And that death angel passed over. Wow. Wow, right? Well, you know, when Jesus was born, he is our Passover lamb. But when he was a boy, he never sinned. I know it's hard to believe that when his dad told him to do something, Victoria, you know, go take out that trash or, or go sweep up that or go run that errand for me. He never complained. He never had an attitude. I can't even comprehend that because I didn't have attitudes. I'm a grown adult and I still have attitudes. Story, do you have attitudes? <laughs> we all do. Oh my Lord. We are sinful people. But do you know who's not sinful? Jesus was never sinful. Never sinful. And so they were beginning to pack up, okay? It was almost time for them to go to the Passover. They were packing their donkeys, and they were ready for the long walk to the Passover, to Jerusalem. And Jesus was doing everything their mom told him to do. He was doing everything. But we are going to see what he did, and we're going to see that next week. But let's right now, let's do another song. Let's praise Jesus. And then I'm going to come back and we'll talk to you a little bit more, okay? Let's praise him. Are you ready? Get up your praisers. Stand up. Praise him, praise him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Praise Him, praise Him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Love Him, love Him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Love Him, love Him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Thank Him, thank Him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Thank Him, thank Him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Serve Him, serve Him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Serve him, serve him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Crown him, crown him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. 
Crown him, crown him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. I hope you enjoy praising God because we need to praise him. We learned today in church that hallelujah means may God be praised. Praise God all throughout your day. You can talk with God all throughout your day. He's hearing you. He sees you. I'm telling you, wherever you are, whatever's going on in your life, little ones today, whether you're upset with your little friends or whether you're sad today or whether you're happy today, whatever you are today, God is with you. And God is listening to everything you say. So we got to watch what we say, watch what we do, because God is right with us. He's with us. He's Emmanuel, God with us. Okay, I'm going to ask just a couple questions now. Did God ever sin? No. No, we know he never sinned. The Bible says he never sinned. Don't let anyone tell you Jesus ever sinned. He was a kid. He said, no, Jesus never sinned because he was all God, but he was all man. So he was man. He was born of the flesh, but he was all God too. Wow. He is truly the lamb of God. Okay, another question. Um, who was Jesus' stepfather? What was his name? Joseph. Joseph, if you said that, that was right. Okay. Who was his mother? Who was Jesus' mother here on earth? Mary. Mary. And you know, we're not to um, we're not to um, worship Mary. We're to honor her. Like we're to honor our parents. We're to honor the president's position, whether it's Democratic or Republican, honor the position. We can pray for the president, honor the position. Amen. We're to honor policemen. We're to honor those that are in authority, right? We're to honor Mary because she carried the Lamb of God. She raised the Lamb of God. As a mother, I can't even imagine raising Jesus. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, she, she was human. Can you imagine? God didn't give her some special anointing. She was human. I can imagine her making a mistake with Jesus, like, like yelling at him or something. And Jesus just being, yes, mom. Oh, my Jesus. I can't, I can't even get that. How, but but he was perfect, but but we aren't perfect. So I, I thank God for Mary. I thank God that she was a, a, a pure virgin uh, and God overshadowed her and she accepted the call to carry the Lamb of God. I mean, I'm so grateful because she, she, she could have said no, right, Victoria? Mary could have said no, 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 Jesus. But she didn't. She said, thy will be done. Yes, God. Oh, what a servant. Help us God to be servants. Amen. Help us God to be servants. Okay. We're going to do another song, and I want you to remember. Oh, wait, one more question. One more question. What was, where did they have to travel once a year? What was the celebration called? Jerusalem. They had to travel to Jerusalem, and what was the celebration called? Passover. Passover. Can you all remember that? They had to travel to Jerusalem, and the celebration was a Passover, because next week we're going to learn where Jesus got left behind. And they were almost three days. Oh my Lord, three days walking. And they didn't even know Jesus was with them. Because see, they used to go as a whole family. I mean, they had a whole caravan that they went with. They didn't just go by themselves. So they didn't even know Jesus was missing. You know, it's almost like the time that we left, <laughs> that we left our little grandson in McDonald's. I thought they had it, you know what I mean? Or the little, little boy that we had with us. I thought their parents had him. They thought we had him. Oh, my Lord. That's what happened to Jesus. And thank God we didn't get far out of the parking lot. I mean, the lady came running out. Oh, my Lord. <gasps> you know, because we had so many kids. So, you know, it happens. Things happen. And they left Jesus, too. So I don't feel quite so bad. Amen. If our friend was watching this today, she said, oh, I feel better. Because that was her baby. Oh, my Lord. So let's sing our next song. And our next song is about the light. You're to be the light, just like the light of Jesus. Let's be the light. Tell people about Jesus. This is the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This is the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't let Satan throw it out. I'm gonna let it shine. 
Don't let Satan get it out. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let your light shine today. All of you boys and girls, I love you so much. I cannot wait. We're going to have to start talking to your parents about a way that we can come and get together. Even if it's six feet apart, we put whatever needs to be done. I want to see you guys so, so bad. See you next week. Bye.